In this video, we are going to see the latest update in Microsoft's AI arsenal, GitHub Copilot X. GitHub Copilot is an AI powered coding assistant that GitHub calls your AI pair programmer. It leverages AI technology to generate code snippets and boilerplate that fits to your context, saving you time and the likelihood of errors. It can even convert code from one language to another, making it a versatile tool for programmers across multiple languages. GitHub conducted a survey and an experiment to determine how Copilot has impacted developers' productivity and happiness. 88% people said that they are more productive when using GitHub Copilot and about 60% people said that they feel less frustrated and more fulfilled with their job. 74% said that they can focus on more satisfying work. It also helped in improving the efficiency and flow of the coding. 88% people said that they can complete code a lot faster and 87% said that they need less mental effort on completing repetitive tasks. GitHub recruited 95 developers and split them randomly into two groups. Each developer were given a task of writing web server in JavaScript. The group that used GitHub Copilot took 1 hour 11 minutes to complete the task on an average, whereas the group that did not use GitHub Copilot took 2 hours 41 minutes, so the time was reduced from 55%. So all in all, we can say that GitHub Copilot has helped developers in improving their efficiency, reducing effort and decreasing the time taken to complete a task. The X in Copilot X represents a variable or a placeholder which will change with each new features GitHub introduces to Copilot. For example, Copilot for pull requests, Copilot for docs, Copilot for security and many more. GitHub is expanding their product from a code completion tool to multiple experiences across a developer's workflow. And the very first feature mentions here is Copilot Chat. It is a context aware conversation with your Copilot. And as you can see in the example, you can just select a text and ask Copilot to explain the code to debug it or to fix errors, if any. You can also ask Copilot to write test cases for this particular code. It is like a chat GPT experience for developers that natively integrates with Visual Studio Code. Next feature GitHub talks about is Copilot for Docs. You know, going through documentations can be a hassle sometime. So Copilot for Docs can help you by spending less time searching and give you more time learning. It will give you personalized answers that are grounded in maintainer's documentation with inline citations. In this video, you can see that there are different documentations present from GitHub, React, MDN and Azure. The user goes to React and asks a question and Copilot for Docs gives personalized answer from the documentation. It also provides citation that you can see on the right side from when this personalized answer was taken. Also, if the documentation is updated, you will get an updated result. Also, Copilot for Docs will let you choose your experience level whether you are a new developer or a very senior developer, how well you know the material whether you don't know it at all or you know it very well. The next feature that we are going to talk about is Copilot for pull requests. Basically, Copilot for pull requests keeps a track of your work, suggests descriptions and helps reviewers reason about your changes with a code walkthrough. The first feature is suggestions for your pull request description. Copilot can give you a summary of your pull request description and all the changes you have done with the help of markers. You can use markers like Copilot summary, Copilot walkthrough, Copilot poem and then Copilot will see the changes made in the repository and will give you a detailed explanation of all the changes. And also you can see that a poem of the changes is written here. The next feature that's coming soon is gen test. It can help you with test cases in your pull request. Now sometimes developers might forget to add test cases to their pull request. With the gen test feature, Copilot can identify whether you need test cases or not. And it will also give you test suggestions or directly add tests to your pull request, which you can verify. The next feature is ghost text. And it gives inline suggestions that appear as you type in the editor. GitHub will add ghost text to pull request and it will be interesting to see how this works. And the next feature for Copilot for pull request is resolving issues with AI. Someone asks in the issues replace TensorFlow with PyTorch. But you might not have an idea on how to work with PyTorch so you can ask Copilot and he will give suggestions on what to do. Now you also might not have an idea to write code in PyTorch. So you can ask Copilot to suggest code. Copilot will 
look for all the changes required in all the files and it will make a new PR for you particularly with the changes mentioned. So that's interesting. So you can just write about one issue and Copilot can give you suggestions and change all the code required. The next feature is reviewing pull requests with AI and you can ask Copilot to describe what are the changes. It will give you the changes description and then you can ask to review the changes. Copilot can review the changes and show you what are the changes done and if you feel that these are the correct changes you can just commit the changes. GitHub says that maybe this won't replace human reviewers but we think it can cut down the time spent in the review cycle. And there are few more features for example AI powered PR completion, AI powered PR repair and AI powered review responses. Now the next feature that Copilot introduces is Copilot for CLI. And it will be like your personal shell wizard, a personal assistant for your terminal. There are basically three modes of interaction in Copilot for CLI. First is question mark, question mark where you can ask any commands to GitHub Copilot and it will give you a query, it will give you an explanation and will ask whether you want to run this command, revise it or cancel it. Now if you run the command, you will get some answer and if you then want to modify it, you can again ask the Copilot to do that, modify the command according to your need. The next mode of interaction is git question mark. It will be specifically used for git invocations. You can ask for what are the commits that are there, what are the branches and all those things. And again here also there will be a command and it will ask for whether you want to run that command, whether you want to revise the query or whether you want to cancel it. The third mode of interaction is gh question mark where you can use commands from github CLI here. In github next.com you can find the future plans of github and what they are going to work on next. So here are the projects that they are going to work on. Let's look at copilot voice. So with copilot voice you can write code without the keyboard. Now I want you to look at this video. Hey github toggle code mode. Import pandas. Import graph plotting library. Hey github insert new line. Get titanic csv data from the web. Clean records from Titanic data where age is null. Fill null values of column fair with average column values. Drop duplicates from the frame Titanic data. Hey GitHub, new line. Plot line graph of age versus fair column. Change the scatter plot. Show plot. Hey GitHub, exit code mode. Hey GitHub, run program. Now one thing to note here, I have not mentioned the location from where to get the link. It is just mentioned get the Titanic data from web and it extracted the Titanic data from somewhere around the web and automatically got the data. Now we don't have a preview for this yet but it would be very interesting to see that whether it can write code faster than what we write using keyboard. So here are some of the features for GitHub voice. You can write or edit code as you have seen in the video. You can do code navigation, you can go from one line to another, you can go to some method, you can go to some next block. You can control the IDE, you can toggle Zen mode, you can run program, you can use other Visual Studio code command using GitHub voice. You can ask Copilot voice to explain the code in some 3 to 10 lines and it will get you a summary of what is done in the code. So that's Copilot for voice. One more feature I want to discuss is code brushes. Now code brushes is like a paint brush which you can use to modify or update your code. For example here a code is there which is not easy to understand. You can just use the brush and make the code more readable by adding if else statement. You can add data types. So for example here we don't know what a b data type is and what is the return type. You can ask code brush to do that and it will add the data types. It can help fix simple bugs. Here the variable name is LO. We have used LOW in the code. So we can just use brush and it will change the variable name. Now if the bugs are more complex, it can help you add debugging statement. It added this console.log to help you debug your code. It can make your code more robust. For example, in this code, it added support for WebKit and Mozilla browsers also and many more. So you can also define your custom brushes. So here you can see that there is some input fields but there is no labels. So once you ask to make this code more accessible it added labels to the input field and that's it. We took a deep dive into the world of GitHub Copilot X and its fantastic new features and saw how they can revolutionize the programming experience for software developers. We would love to hear your thoughts on GitHub Copilot X. So please share your experience 
and opinions in the comments below and also let us know what topic you want us to cover next. As we wrap up, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the world of tech and AI. And until next time, happy coding.